For 120 years, the United States submarine force has roamed the world's oceans, creating a unique breed of sailors. Of the few called to the silent service, one submariner's actions and leadership has stood out during the turn of the 21st century. Known as Big Al the Sailor's Pal, Vice Admiral retired Albert H. Konezny has become a beacon to the submarine force. Serving in 20 commands over the course of 38 years, from 1966 to his retirement in 2004, Konezny accomplished extreme strides in his career and the submarine force. Many of his famous accomplishments occurred after assuming command of the Pacific Submarine Force in 1998. During his time in command, Konezny raised alarms with leadership that more needed to be done. He undertook a number of initiatives within his span of control to improve both the efficiency and effectiveness of submarines operating in the Pacific. The submarine force in the late 1990s was in the process of decommissioning a quarter of its attack submarines. Konezny knew that more could be done to improve the efficiency and make the best use of taxpayer dollars. He took four submarines slated for early decommissioning and transformed them from ballistic missile submarines into guided missile submarines. Konezny gained the nickname Big Al the Sailor's Pal, not only due to his large stature and personality, but also his humanity and care for the everyday sailor. He had an open door policy, and if not in his office, you could find him on the pier with his sailors. He cared for the spirit of his sailors and noticed the overtasking in the submarine force dwindled their morale. Konezny immediately made improving retention and reducing first term attrition a focus point. His staff quickly went to work, setting in place reduced demands on the crews during interdeployment training cycle. Inspections were consolidated while others were deleted. Hard pressed engineering departments were better manned. Import duty section rotations were improved. Training was transferred off ship so crews could concentrate without distraction. And an eight hour import workday was encouraged with a half day off during the work week. In one controversial initiative, he expected submariners who were not working out on one of the submarines to be transferred to a different crew. In less than three years, he reduced personnel attrition in the Pacific Fleet's submarine force from 25% to 7%, and first term retention had doubled from 30 to 60%. Another initiative that he challenged his force with was to innovate potential savings. One potential saving was to reduce transit time in the vast Pacific. This plan initiated the undertaking of returning submarines to Guam. Positioning hulls further west saved transit time and kept them ready to respond more quickly to national tasking. It provided a measure of reassurance to our friends and allies of our national commitment to the Western Pacific, as well as giving any potential adversary something more to consider. This meant standing up a squadron that had been deactivated for 20 years. It was originally established on September 1st, 1963 at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, and eventually moved to Guam in October of 1964. The squadron had responsibility as the submarine-based nuclear deterrent in the Pacific. As the Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines and support facilities came online, the submarine squadron was deactivated at the end of September 1981. Konesny reactivated the squadron on February 23rd, 2001 to lead and support submarines and submarine support ships assigned to 7th and 5th fleets. Today, Commander Submarine Squadron 15 is the only forward deployed submarine squadron in the United States Navy, responsible for providing training, material, and personal readiness support to four Los Angeles class fast attack submarine commands. USS Key West, USS Oklahoma City, USS Topeka, and the USS Asheville. The squadron additionally supports attack submarines deployed to the Pacific this in turn made the nation stronger and better equipped to accomplish this mission to assure regional allies and deter potential adversaries by increasing the submarine force presence in the Western Pacific. These initiatives he implemented at the turn of the 21st century helped to mold the world's most powerful submarine force. In recognition of Panesny's leadership and accomplishments in the submarine force, Squadron 15 dedicated its halls in his name. Every sailor who walks through Kinesny Hall today will be reminded of the importance of sustaining a viable, credible undersea force, especially if and as challenges arise militarily.